good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the City Hall groundbreaking ceremony for the reconstruction of Sheboygan's historic City Hall, built over 100 years ago. I'm David Beeble. I'm the Director of Public Works for the City of Sheboygan. I'll be your MC for the groundbreaking event today. For an entire generation, City Hall has stood steadfast and represented Sheboygan and the community well. However, with age, City Hall is in need of some major work. And in order to continue functioning and operating for offices, so it begged the question, should we invest in City Hall or should we build elsewhere, build new? And it was quite a debate for some time. However, just restoring City Hall in its current layout did not solve the problem of creating open and inviting and accessible City Hall. Bray Architects, our partner, listened to all of the issues and debates of alternative sites, constraints with City Hall. At the assistance of the Building Use Committee and their excellent guidance throughout this process, they, they challenged us to try to preserve City Hall, if at all possible. I'm here, to, here today to tell you that Bray Architects with Mr. Steve Coonan, Mr. Steve Yeager from Bray, came through with a beautiful plan and ultimately uh, a great project for us. Um, it not only enhances City Hall by preserving City Hall, but it also creates a new inviting open entrance on the facade of the north, as you can see, which really was the backside of City Hall and it's unfinished. It will be a great project once we're all said and done. Again, accessibility will be, it will be open. It, it creates new customer service counters uh, instead of individual offices, which will open City Hall for a new modern office type of environment. Along with our team with EBI, Emmons Business Interiors, we've been working diligently at laying out new office spaces to make it functional, not only for the occupants of the building, but also for the residents as they come to City Hall for business and for help. So, as today, City Hall has stood for 100 years, and today, City, we will start not only the new process to reinvest in our history, but also our future as well. And with that, I'd like to now introduce the Mayor of Sheboygan, Mr. Mike Vandersteen. David, thank you very much for that introduction. Mike Vandersteen, happy to be here with you all, and, and thanks so much for coming out today for this important occasion. Uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, guests that are with us. Uh, we have uh, Representative Terry Kotsma from the 26th Assembly District. Terry, welcome. And Tyler Vorpago of the Assembly District from the 27th. Thank you for coming. Uh, we also have some members of the Sheboygan County Board here, Vern Koch, Kurt Brower, Ed Prochak. Thank you, gentlemen. And we have some previous older persons who are here today, too, Bill Thiel and Scott Lewandowski. I also would like to introduce our Council President, Todd Wolf. Todd. And our Council Vice President, Mary Lynn Donahue. And we have some other older persons here, Ryan Sorensen and Marcus Savaglio. Anybody else I missed? Okay. And then I'd also like to recognize our Building Use Committee. Uh, this committee did a great job in evaluating all these proposals, spending a lot of time talking about all the options with the, with the architects. And Joe Clark is here from the Building Use Committee. Joe, why don't you give him a wave? Thank you for coming. Well, you know, after decades of discussion on the future of City Hall, on April 4th of 2018, the Common Council voted unanimously to approve this project. The, this is a 100-year-old building, actually 101 years old, and, uh, and this Im the improvements will improve the functionality to benefit the public and city staff. They concurred with the Planning Commission's recommendation and to stay in the current building because they, there was some talk of moving City Hall to another location and to build a more efficient floor plan with an entrance plaza and off-street parking north of the building rather than building a new City Hall. The original City Hall was built by Emil Construction Company at a cost of $150,000. Adjusted, that'd be about $3.7 million today. 
The finished building was turned over to Sheboygan Mayor Otto Bjorens at a dedication ceremony on January 27th of 1917, and it was designed by, Ar designed by architect W.H. Blooming with uh, W.C. Weeks, the local architect is the associate architect. Staff in, in this, for the current project was tasked with reviewing over 100 years of records that resided in the building and implementing our records retention policy and then they either had to pack that up or see that those records were destroyed. They also had to pack up all their offices to prepare for the renovation that begins today. All departments have moved to alternate locations for the anticipated 12-month construction period. Two office locations were secured for City Hall departments. The former Social Security office across the street where all the more customer sensitive actions are taken. And then the administrative offices which are going to be located in the Sheboygan County Highway Department offices. During this construction period, meetings of the city committees will be relocated to meeting rooms at the Mead Public Library and the Common Council meetings will take place at the Sheboygan County Board Chambers and the Courthouse. We thank the library and the Sheboygan County Board for their assistance with these alternate meeting locations. I want to give my congratulations to all who have been involved in this project. The important work was done by staff with the assistance of Bray Architects to develop an efficient floor plan and identify the furnishings, technology needs, improved accessibility, manage the architectural process, and develop a realistic budget and identify temporary office sites and finally determining how to pay for the project. Today we officially turn Sheboygan City Hall over to Quash's Construction to implement the plans that were drawn up by Bray and Associates Architects and look forward to returning somewhere around June of 2019 to take over the state-of-the-art offices that would be constructed inside of this 100-year-old building. Thank you very much for your attendance and thank you to everybody involved. Thank you, Mayor. Next, I'd like to introduce our city administrator, Mr. Daryl Hoffman. Thank you, David. Uh, you've, you've heard already a lot of great comments about this project. Um, Building Use Committee in 2015 was created for the sole purpose of guiding the process. Uh, great political leadership with the different council presidents from Don Hammond, uh, Marilyn Donahue, uh, Todd Wolf during those uh, really four year periods, uh, sort of during the home stretch of, of discussion. Bray Architects, uh, great job. Uh, you, you went through not only reviewing this set of plans, you reviewed numerous plans of other locations, uh, other existing buildings for a retrofit, and ultimately, again, with feedback from elected officials, uh, we honed in on this site. Uh, as it was alluded to, uh, this, will, this north side will be the new uh, front of City Hall. You can see from the drawings a, a lot of glass. It's our goal for this building to reflect uh, our specific goal of being more transparent with, with the citizens of, of the City of Sheboygan. And I think uh, hopefully again with this great architecture uh, and with the new technologies that this building will afford us uh, as we go forward, we're really excited about those possibilities of rem remaining true to the citizens uh, of Sheboygan. Regarding the financing of this project, roughly a $10.5 million project, uh, again with council leadership, uh, we've been able to sock away, save money, uh, and a little over half of the project cost uh, will come from savings. Uh, this, in the next couple weeks, we'll be borrowing $5 million of that 10.5. So it really helped uh, move this project forward, knowing that uh, not all of it would be a debt, new debt service for the community. As, as Mayor Mike and uh, Dave Beeble identified, we're really, uh, I really want to extend uh, my heartfelt appreciation to city staff. Uh, it's not easy to be uprooted, especially for those that have been uh, at City Hall for two or three decades. Uh, a lot of historic files had to go, be gone through. Uh, records retention programs, as it was alluded to, uh, went into high gear, uh, but ultimately, uh, the transition, uh, as late as last week, Thursday or Friday, uh, was finalized as far as staff moving into their new temporary homes. So again, I want to extend my appreciation to city staff uh, for uh, their accommodation and ultimately their, their 
positive spirit and, and attitude uh, as, as we settle in on our, our new location. Uh, again, we look forward uh, to being back here uh, for a ribbon cutting in roughly a year. So uh, please keep some time, uh, roughly June of 2019 for that. Uh, so again, thank you for coming out today uh, and look forward to uh, participating with you with the shovels on, on our formal groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you. Thanks, Daryl, for your uh, very nice remarks. Next, I'd like to introduce to you the general contractor for the City Hall project, Quashes Construction, and president for Quashes Construction, Mr. Matt Quashes. Thank you, Dave. Uh, really can't tell you how, how happy I am to be here today and be a part of this project. Uh, I think I speak for our whole team uh, when I say that we wanted this project. We wanted to be a part of helping rebuild City Hall to work with the city, work with Gray, and really a number of other local contractors and subcontractors. Uh, we have a predominantly local team, Spect Electric, Kleeman, uh, a number of local subcontractors and suppliers really, I think, pursued this project aggressively and wanted to be a part of helping improve it, the downtown and really make City Hall the place we all want it to be. Uh, so we're very pleased. Uh, you, we don't normally get to be a part of groundbreaking speeches, so this is something that's kind of new for me. And Dave told me to limit my response to like 45 minutes. Uh, so I decided not to go through a month-by-month -month schedule to make sure that we were going to be on schedule and get, get you in, on, in June, but uh, just wanted to reiterate the fact that uh, I think we have a great plan, a great team, and, uh, and we are very, very happy to be a part of this, uh, especially after having moved our office down the street. Uh, we, we would have uh, been very sad to see another contractor's uh, sign up on this project. So uh, looking forward to getting started and uh, to a very successful project. So thank you. Thanks, Matt, for your comments. We're really looking forward to working with your team. I guess in closing, I, I just, you know, it, it's going to be a big project, and it took a lot of effort from many people. And I, I like just to take a brief moment here to to recognize some of those, those people that were truly instrumental in, in getting the success of this project to this point so far. You know, Mr. Bernie Romer, he's our purchasing agent for the city. Not many people get to see him, but he's behind the scenes and he does all of our RFP writing and contractual type of solicitation. And he helped tremendously with the abatement process that's going on currently. So thank you, Bernie. You just wave your hand so people can recognize you. Nancy Buss, our finance director. Thank you, Nancy, for finding the money. That's always important. Yeah. Chad Pelashek, instrumental in acquiring the Social Security building for our temporary offices. So thank you, Chad. Yeah. The city attorney, Chuck Adams, reviewing our contractual documents and making sure our bonds and everything is all in order. A lot of behind the scenes type of uh, paperwork that really there's a tremendous amount of effort that goes into it. And Chuck, during the move and a lot of things that you had to do, I know it was a lot of work, but I really do appreciate all your efforts in, in helping us through that, that, that process. <laughs> we also have Meredith from the city clerk's office, making sure our council documents were getting through to the proper committees and making sure we had the proper documentation to get the contracts in front of the right committees and making sure everything was timely, and, and prudent and, and obviously making sure the older persons were informed. So thank you so much with that as well. <laughs> with Der Derek from Transit, you know, it, it, which Transit got to do as well. We have all the parking lots around here and, and, and temporary parking and, and moving city employees and, and then allowing contractors then to come behind and coordinating all the, the parking efforts is, is quite, a, quite an effort. So I thank Derek from Transit for all his efforts in that as well. Ryan Sasma from my office has been a tremendous help. Clearly, there's a lot of civil and site work, and with his staff, he's been a help as well. But I really have to really single out two important people that, without their help, I'm not sure we would be here today. Uh, first is Don Sokolowski, 
our management analyst from the Department of Public Works. She has led the communication and coordination of all the relocation of all the offices in City Hall. Uh, and uh, she's been able to do this with a pleasant smile and a great attitude throughout a very difficult task. Um, and it's an amazing accomplishment. So Dawn, thank you. If you could just raise your hand. And lastly, uh, Mike Wilmes with my staff. Mike is the superintendent of buildings and, and traffic for the Department of Public Works. He has been tremendously instrumental, not, not only with just the move, but with his staff. Um, I, I, I think they're all inside the building, Mike. Or, you know, it's unfortunate. I wish they could have been down here. But he had a staff of about six or seven, eight guys, and for the last month have just been moving literally 100 years of files and people and desks uh, it's an amazing accomplishment. But not only that, Mike's knowledge of the building, uh, its special issues, um, it's, it's been a tremendous help, not only just in the design, but also as we're entering into the construction phase. Uh, Mike's been a tremendous help for me, as well as the contractor and, and the architects, just to get some background on, on certain things. So I really, Mike, thank you so much. If you could just stand up, please. I'd really like to give you a round of applause. Uh, he's been a tremendous partner in this, and um, I'm really grateful for all your help and you're a true friend. So what I'd like to do right now is officially break the ground. So we're going to have some groups up here. I think we'll just do the, this group, the speakers first, and then next, Mayor, I think if you'd like to invite some of the council members up and get them up, and then after that we'll do um, other dignitaries as well as the city department heads. We like So we'll do, do a bunch of photos, I guess, so if you just would like to... Get in line and, and, and we'll start breaking the ground. Thank you. Would the other aldermen uh, in the group please come up? Terry Kotsma, Tyler Forpagel. Can we get our city department heads next? Come on, chief of police, Mead Library, Derek, city attorney, city clerk, planning director, finance. Come on up. Thanks everyone. We do have some refreshments in, in, uh, right in the garage here. There's some cookies and some uh, cake pops as well as some water. Please, please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. 